Uh, Roush Industries is a 30-year-old company. Uh, they started out as the uh, engineering firm in design and has grown into a large industry and enterprises serving multiple industries. We have an extremely concentrated pool of talent in this shop. So we have some people there that are extremely talented. Um, we take on some of the things that other shops would no quote think are impossible, it cannot be made, we take on the challenge. Um, having the best equipment, that's already said and done. Now having the talent, the expertise in the business, uh, most of us have been in this business for approximately 30 years in multiple areas of expertise. The whole group creates synergy here at Roush and allows us to do some things that people would think are impossible. So that's really what we build on. If it's difficult or impossible, but it can be made, that's what we do, and that's what we specialize in. What matters most in our business is our uh, machining flexibility, um, of course, quality and on-time delivery. And with our Makino system, our Makino cell, and our standalone Makinos, it allows us the flexibility to meet these uh, target goals. So we are able to do short batch runs, low volume production. Uh, it allows us in the pool system, the pallet system. Our setup time is minimal. We're able to up and run quickly and do short batches of parts um, very efficiently and uh, quickly. Uh, you have to have the best and fastest equipment in this market today or you are not going to be competitive with your pricing um, and your delivery. Uh, the, there's shorter and shorter lead times. Um, nobody is inventorying things anymore, so you must be able to get a machine up and running, meet your delivery goals on time with the quality all in one package, and that's what we focus on here at Roush and it's a very difficult market uh, because of the competitiveness. Uh, one of the jobs that we took on recently within the last year is the uh, NASCAR uh, racing blocks. Uh, we're currently doing those um, in our Makino cell. Um, we are holding extremely tight tolerances. That is probably one of the most difficult um, pieces to machine that uh, this company and this machine shop have ever tackled. Um, the tolerances on it are extremely tight. We, on a regular basis, hold 5 tenths accuracy position tolerances, 5 tenths on bore diameters without a problem, and do that on a regular basis all day long. One of the things that we're able to do is utilize the capabilities of the Makino machines to their fullest extent. And in that, um, we use high performance cutters, uh, we do extreme metal removal, uh, we use the best tools in the industry that are available to us, we put them in the Makinos, we push it to the limit on a regular basis every day of the week. So a lot of places or a lot of shops are not like that on a regular basis. Here to be competitive and to utilize your equipment to its fullest, you must push it to the limit every day. So things people see at shows or open houses once in a while, you come to Roush, look at our Makino cell, you will see this on a regular basis every day. We're not a production shop where we are just lock and load and parts by the thousands. We are doing the low volume batch runs, custom machining. Um, so we're actually, uh, with the power of the Makino cell, the pallet system and the other two Makinos, we're actually able to achieve efficiency ratings from 86% to 96%, up to 96%, and that is extremely difficult in the business that we are in with these short runs, spot buys, things like that. Um, with the Makinos, we've monitored that, and we are actually uh, overachieving our goals of efficiencies, so we're very pleased with the results of that.